Hi everybody, my name is Dionne Woods. Welcome. I am the owner and artist at theturquoisecyrus.com and we're here for part three. We might as well just get right into it, you guys. I've been here yesterday and the day before for part one and two, and I'm back today because I said I would be. So let's get to painting, guys. This is a massive wardrobe that I started on. It looks like an entirely crazy looking hot mess right now. I'm totally okay with that. If you're new here, just trust me. It's got to go through a little bit of a process to become all that it needs to be. So um, for those of you that have asked me, um, why are you painting this piece? It was already pretty. Um, welcome guys. I see all of my friends popping on here. All of you guys have been showing up every day. I so appreciate you and I always appreciate those thumbs up and hearts. Um, so as we approach part three, I just want to address a question that keeps coming to me. Actually, it's only come to me twice. Um, but you know how you hear the really positive comments and you're like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you get one comment that says, I don't understand why you're painting such a beautiful piece of furniture when it was already pretty before. Very, very true. But that's what I do here. I paint furniture that was already beautiful often, but I enhance it and I'm teaching other people how to beautify their home using color. And um, I'm an artist and that's what I do. So the reason I paint furniture is because there is some amazing paint finishes on furniture anywhere. And I'm trying to recreate those and I'm trying to teach you how to do it. So right now, that's what I do. Um, so I can't really make you understand um, but I will ask that you, if you're going to be here on my page, I ask that you respect me um, and all of the other fellow artists who are painting furniture. Um, I'm not taking, I'm not devaluing it in my opinion. I just want you to understand that I'm increasing the value. I'm absolutely enhancing it 110%. Um, so I've got cowgirl coral. I made this purpley blue color, you guys. It's almost like a periwinkle, and I made it using four different colors from DIY Paint. Um, I used Summer Crush. I used Queen Bee. Queen Bee was what I started with in part one. Now, if you've missed part one and two, you can go back and watch part one and two. Um, I've got it on YouTube and on Facebook, so thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you guys. We're gonna grab the um, carnival red, guys. We're bringing in red now, so hold on to your seats. Put your hands underneath your bottom if you have to, because I know you're all wanting up to do up here like jazz hands. I know it, I know it for sure. Um, so I started with yellow, and then I put wax on it, because ultimately this color, the main two colors you're gonna see on this piece is turquoise and yellow. It's not crazy, I promise. It's gonna be good, I promise, but just hang tight, because it's gonna take a while to get there. A, I have literally a step ladder. Yep, I've got a step ladder with me today because I cannot even reach to the top of this baby. So um, I don't know that you guys will go with me on the step ladder up, but whenever I get off of here, I've got to do the step ladder to get up here on this beautiful detail. But right now, um, I've already done all of these four colors. The entire piece is covered with at least a base coat. So I'm coming in with Carnival Red. It's DIY buys orangey red. We have two. We have marquee and we have carnival red. This one is the one that has the most orange in it. The marquee is more what you would consider a blue red. Thank you for your absolute compliments and kind comments. Like I said, if painted furniture is not for you, the turquoise iris is probably not where you ought to be um, as far as, you know, what you can learn from someone because I paint furniture and I enhance it and then I sell that. Um, so yes, this piece was gorgeous before and my goal is to enhance it and beautify it even more so. Okay, so the very first, I'm actually going to use this brush today. It's the 12 from the paintpixie.com. Um, and for any of you on here that are also fellow furniture artists and you want to add to anything that I just said, um, about painted furniture, um, you're welcome to add in something, um, you know, I'd like to know your why. So if you're a furniture artist, why do you paint furniture? Um, for, for the two people that have asked me why we continue to paint furniture, they might be willing to um, wanna read through, our, through, read through our questions and our answers for them as well. Um, so I want you guys to know that the red is only gonna be used as an undertone. It's not gonna be one of the main colors on here. So I'm not gonna apply it everywhere. We're just gonna use the red in a few places. So 
So I've got red and I've got queen bee, which is our yellow. We're gonna use them simultaneously beside each other. And I also have my spray bottle. This is a fine mist sprayer. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Amazon, um, Sally's Beauty Supply, different places like that. I'm working on getting my own, but at some point right here, um, this is what we're using right now. So it's a fine mist sprayer. Um, I used to use an old like Windex bottle, but when someone introduced me to those, I'm all about the fine mist, okay? Um, if you would rather use a power washer, that works too. And if you've been following me a while, you know that that comes from Quita Allen of All Shoved Out. All right, cuties. Um, so we're gonna just get going, and I'm only gonna use this red in a few places. The reason I have this yellow in here is because at the end of this makeover, that yellow has still got to come shining through there. I still, still, still. Thank you, Jennifer Pose. Appreciate your input. I'm gonna just apply it right here in the center just for a little red. Again, it, we will not be using the red everywhere. Um, it's still part of the undertone. When we start coming back with our queen bee and our um, old 57, you're gonna see a lot of this color right here on this baby back here but the red's part of our undertone, okay? And I wanna put my AirPods in here to make sure the sound quality is good, so I apologize that I didn't start with that. All right, all right, all right. So it is quite a journey, especially with the piece being as large as it is, it is a journey. You're exactly right. Um, if I don't see your question or get it answered, you guys, go ahead and type it in there and I promise that I'll go back throughout the day and I'll try to get back to you, back to your comment. Right now, I just want to, the main goal is to put some warm undertones on this piece so it comes through. The final colors, main colors are going to be yellow and that old 57. We're going to blend them all in here together and we're going to layer them. And then we're going to finish off with some wax colors. I'm probably going to make a turquoise wax as well. And anything else I feel like doing, which will include copper, gold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say right now that this red over this yellow and all of this floral detail is fantastic. So thank you for those thumbs up over on YouTube. I appreciate you so much. I put a wax over all of this yellow. Yellow was the first color I used, and then I put clear wax over it because I knew I'd be adding a lot of water, and I just wanted that yellow to stay put no matter what. I want that yellow to not blend with my red, and I want it to stay put. My ladies and my creative connection, I gave them a yellow challenge, which yellow's hard, but my God, those girls made it look like yellow wasn't hard. And all along, I thought yellow was hard. So those they showed me exactly how easy using um, yellow on a piece of furniture was. So they have totally inspired me to go for it. And I had not used, I had not done a yellow piece in a while. I don't know why, every yellow piece I've ever done has sold pretty quickly. Um, no, I do know why. I get lazy and yellow is hard to cover. That's exactly why, that's why. Yellow is so hard to cover, but now that I layer so many different colors and it's kind of become what I do, it, uh, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So I don't know about you, but what color sells for you guys? Are there other furniture artists on here? And if so, what color sells more for you than any other color? I would love to know because yellow sells, coral sells, blue, any shade of blue, that always sells for me too. And you know what? White might sell for me if I ever painted white, but since I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I'm only using a little bit of red here and there. I'm not gonna use very much. I know this looks hot and crazy. I got it, I know. You don't have to tell me. I got it. It's a process, I promise. I know that it, it looks crazy. I'm okay with it, really okay with it. Um, so this red over the yellow, it's kind of making me, well, it's the prettiest thing I've seen today. Let's just go with that. 
the red over the coral, the red over the yellow, watered down. It's really pretty much the prettiest thing I've seen all day. So glad I chose to do that because I'm, I'm loving this right now. This piece is available, guys. It's not something that's a custom order or anything. I am just able to do this piece and do it how I think it needs to look. Um, all right, so I'm going to put just a little bit more of this red down here. I'm not sure you guys can see that, so let me tilt my camera down just a little bit for you both. I know it is looking wild. It looks like, why are we giving this girl any credibility whatsoever? Why does she think she knows what she's talking about? Why? Why? That's okay. I'm all right. I am all right with that. No worries. Guys, when I'm using water, it's not dripping. I'm not using enough to actually make it drip. Um, I'm just using it enough to soften the paint to make it easier to blend. That's all I'm doing. So we got our first fan mail yesterday in the mail. Um, a little girl named Reagan Rex. She sent little Miss Iris fan mail. Oh, God, let's talk about the sweetest thing you've ever seen. She drew little Miss Iris a picture. And then she drew like a self-portrait. And then she um, she drew a little message. So Queen Bee is what's coming up next. That's right. It's yellow. That's right. Okay. Yes, I'm going to use the same brush. No, I changed my mind. I'm not. That's how quickly this girl changes her mind, all right? I'm gonna grab another number 12 from Paint Pixie. I'm gonna go right in here in the center. Making fire right here in the middle. Making fire right there in the middle with the Carnival Red and the Queen Bee. Oh, Lordy, yes. We're going to go right up there in the center. Yes, we are. We're going to spray a little bit. Um, for those of you that have not seen my announcement, June 8th, I'm going to have the owner of this paint company, Miss Debbie Beard from Debbie's Design Diary. For those of you on YouTube, if you're following Debbie's Design Diary, Miss Debbie Beard, she's coming here and she's going to paint in person. And I'm trying to get her to do some of those little molds that she does on her furniture. Oh my gosh. Um, so she's going to be here. And um, I have tickets available for that. It's limited seating, but if you go to the turquoiseiris.com, you can um, grab your ticket now. And grab your seat for that so if you're not following Debbie Beard with Debbie's Design Diary she has almost 2,000 200,000 followers on YouTube and she's going to be my guest for June I also have the owner of paint pixie bro I don't turn my um, I don't turn my notifications off when I'm painting because I have teenagers that's why you want us to come see Debbie oh I wish you could too Barb honey I would love to meet you in person too So um, I'm just going to say it again, I said it a second ago, this little area right here and this little area right here, we're bringing the fire right here. It's good, I promise you. Thank you for the thumbs up, especially over on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm a YouTube newbie, so going live is a little intimidating. I got this live thing all day long, but down here I've got YouTube. And so aloha to you, Daryl. Um, it's kind of new, but as long as y'all are nice, I'm good. I'm good. But like I told you earlier, if this isn't your thing, it doesn't have to be. You can keep going. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? I don't watch every show on TV. Actually, I don't really watch very many shows on TV. Um, but because your time is precious, I encourage you to watch what you love. And if you don't love this, it's okay. It's okay. 
Um, all right, so I'm gonna let this area here set for a minute. I'm gonna come back over here and then I'll rotate the camera just a little bit higher. I do realize that it still looks like a hot mess. I get it, it's okay. We're just, start, we're just doing our layers, guys. Like I said, if I miss your questions, don't worry. I will go back after the live and I'll check back with it throughout the day and tomorrow. And hopefully I can answer all of your questions. If some of my girls are on here from my membership group and you know the answer, feel free to go ahead and answer for me if you know the answer for sure. Especially those of you that are familiar with DIY paint that know the answer, I trust you. Um, I talked to a lady yesterday that had bought, bought an arm wall from me. And she said she was thinking about going ahead and snagging this piece before I even finished it. Um, so it is available. But I love having the, the artistic freedom to be able to just paint it how I need to paint it. Kind of whatever speaking to me, you know what I mean? I am so grateful for those of you that take time out of your day to come on here in the middle of the afternoon Part one, part two, part three. We may have 10 parts. We might have 10 parts, so be ready for that every day. Um, I appreciate you taking time out and to hang out with me and paint. It makes doing my work a whole lot easier when I know that you're there with me. Well, and it just makes it more fun to paint with friends, doesn't it? Uh, but if you have questions about the class, uh, June 8th, on June 8th here in Moore, just message me. You can email me or you can message me. Um, emailing me at Dion at the turquoiseiris.com. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. This, here's, this is good. Let's rotate the camera. Bring it back up a little bit. Thank you for your patience with me as I change this out. When will that water bottle be? Um, Tanya, I'm working on it with Paint Pixie. Um, so when Josie tells me it's go time is when it's go time. I, um, I'm i thinking it might be another month or two. Um, how do I keep so clean, Barb? I don't have an answer for you. I don't know. I just don't. I am lazy as far as changing clothes. I will tell you that right now. When I get dressed in the morning, I hate changing clothes. So it's worth it for me to take my time and really concentrate on what I'm doing so I don't have to go change clothes and ruin what I'm wearing. Um, I hate changing clothes. I would rather be painting, let's just put it that way. So it cuts into my paint time when I have to go change. <laughs> silly as that sounds, it's the honest to goodness truth. So we're bringing fire, we're mixing queen bee, we're mixing carnival red, and we are bringing this fiery orange color. This was a periwinkle color that I created with four different colors from DIY. Um, it's the greatest thing is that DIY mixes and blends so well, it's a clay based paint. Um, just make my own colors. Not that they don't have enough that are beautiful, but I get bored really easily. And just knowing that our new colors are about to come out just gets me all excited. Okay, so right now it's darker than it's going to dry. But we've mixed a lot of the red and the yellow and we've created this warm firecracker orange color. Um, and so, what I need to do is kind of work on the sides and the top and the bottom. Um, but since you are kind of limited to, to our space here, um, you know what, I might be able to work down at the bottom. I think I probably could. Let's, let's try this. We haven't done this in the last couple of days, but let's try bringing the camera down a little bit for us. Susan, <laughs> what am I saying to tease you? It's a feature of Dion. 
All right. Are we good? Are we good? I'm sorry. I do freak out when Queen is next to me. I'm not gonna lie, she's messy. You're right about that. And then she just teases me like she's going to, she'll look at me like I'm gonna paint on you. All right guys, let's keep going down here. Let's do that. Um, what brush is this? Was this yellow or was this? Again, if you're wondering what I'm using, this is called the number 12 Large Oval from Paint Pixie. And I do have an affiliate link for you if you're interested in checking it out. If not, um, yesterday I used the Dusty and I've used the French Tip. All of those are my favorite. And if you're just getting started with good quality brushes, those are the ones that I would definitely start with, okay? This beautiful pink color is called Cowgirl Coral. We're gonna pull some of that back out too um, as we start getting towards the top coat. Now I know I'm ignoring this right now and I'm ignoring this right now because these two colors right here, I'm gonna end up putting my old 57 over the top of them. So there's gonna be a lot of turquoise on the front of this. There's gonna be a lot of yellow and it's all gonna work. I promise, trust me, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, all right, so let's bring in some more red down here, just a little bit, not too much. A little red goes a long way, is that the truth? Yes, it is. Now, I'm gonna tell you I will not be live tomorrow at the same time because I'm gonna be at a baseball game in Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, for my son's state championship. But what I'm hoping to do is do a nighttime live because I won't be able to do this same time um, but when we get home from Tulsa, I'll be able to come on here and go live with you. Um, hopefully I won't be in too bad of a mood because we're going to win. Right, honey? Right, honey? <laughs> All right. So just a little bit of red, guys. I love the way the red, the carnival red looks over the yellow. If you haven't tried that before, give it a shot. Do carnival red over queen bee. Just give it a shot. Hot mess is what we're, what we're at right now. I get it, I know it, you don't have to tell me. I understand. But I'm encouraging all of you to try new things. Right now in my membership group, we are um, posting photos of how we do turquoise. So I said turquoise is the color of choice. So. Go with it, show us, do a project. You don't have to paint furniture, you can do artwork, you can do what someone's done, a lamp, all kinds of different artwork is posted. So show me how you do turquoise and then um, they get to push themselves. Like if someone's in all gray and white, doing turquoise might be a really big challenge for them, right? So I think so far we've had over a hundred entries of the turquoise. They're blowing me away. And the week before that, we did yellow, which is why I'm doing yellow, because they inspired me so much. I told you, I thought they were gonna do, like I thought it was gonna be really challenging for them. Oh my goodness, they blew me away. So it's, I'm overdue for a yellow piece. A lot of what I'm doing, you won't really get to see in the final, final look. Like, there's not gonna be a lot of red in my final vision of this piece. There's going to be mostly turquoise, shades of turquoise and shades of yellow. Um, but the red needs to come through as a pop of color. It gives a little bit of a dramatic look. And then we'll have a lot of gold and a lot of copper on here. so funny how you end up getting a favorite part. I already have a favorite part of this piece, um, but I'm not going to reveal which part that is right now. But as the cups blend and do their own thing together, I'm already like, oh, I love this part right here. Like, right there. Anyway, you guys, thanks for joining me for part three. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, but it will not be at the same time. It's going to have to be late in the evening when we get back from the baseball tournament. Um, so just this is all DIY paint.
okay? It's from Debbie's Design Diary. Um, Miss Debbie Beard will be here June 8th. You can grab your ticket now on the Um We've used Cowgirl Coral. We've used uh, Queen Bee. We've used Summer Crush. We've used a purpley periwinkle color that I made using four colors. Um, just a little tease as to some of our new colors that are coming out in the DIY line. Um, and then today I added Carnival Red. So I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for your, um, mm, what's the word? I'm just gonna say for your kindness. I'm just gonna say that. So you guys have a great evening and afternoon and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you for the good luck wishes. Y'all are awesome. I mean, I'm not playing, but still.